Hi everyone, I am Jeremy Brizel, JB, glad to be with you. We have a great discussion today with a panel of experts from T-Systems and Hitachi Ventara to talk about Hitachi's new content software for file and how it's enabling T-Systems to address new markets, create new solutions, and recognize new revenue streams. We have some great folks to talk to and to hear from today, so let's meet them and jump right in. Torsten, if you could introduce yourself and get us started. Sure. Thanks a lot for the opportunity, JB and team. So my name is Thorsten Boltz. I'm heading the partner and channel management within T-Systems. And on top, I'm also taking the responsibility for the so-called customer unit international. So all customer which are outside of Germany and therefore a lot of interlink between your organization and our organization. And looking forward to a fruitful panel discussion. Thanks, Thorsten. Bill, could you say hello? Let us know uh, who you are, what you do. Bill Nelson with T-Systems. I am the... Uh, North American uh, sales executive for the global energy team. Thanks, Bill. Good to have you. Jason. Hey, thanks for having me here today, JB. Uh, my name is Jason Hardy. I'm the global CTO for our data intelligence portfolio. Uh, really excited to have uh, T-Systems on the panel and this discussion. And Gianluigi. Hello, everybody. My name is Gianluigi Ferraco. I'm the global account director for T-Systems and happy to be here and glad to have this session. Uh, we have a great discussion coming up with huge topics around uh, data and solutions, so let's get to it. Torsten, I want to start with you. Successful partnerships, they're often exponentially valuable, right? One plus one equals three or five or seven or hopefully 99. So how does T-Systems approach partnerships to try to get to that point? And, and what is the T-Systems plus Hitachi Ventara relationship been able to provide for your customers? Very good question. And actually, at the end of the day, it's all about creating value for our clients, your clients or our clients. T-Systems has a global footprint. We are one of the leading European uh, IT providers, and actually we are the number one in the region, Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. So I think there's a lot of strength within our organization. And then looking into Hitachi being our partner for more than 10 years with a huge install base, there's also huge uh, expertise and also industry know-how coming from your side. Partnerships should be built on a shared passion. In our case, it's a shared passion for clients. On the other hand side, there need to be always a look into the future. And I think there are some good examples Bill will share later um, today. And thinking about the development of our clients, uh, hyperscalers are getting more and more strong. Uh, data sovereignty uh, also is still also very important. So that is an area to look into with partners. And then also leveraging each other's strengths. So we have our cloud-first hybrid solution strategy. And I think that perfectly fits also into the Hitachi content platform strategy, which we can combine and really create value for our clients. And at the end of the day, it's really about changing the world. So obviously, we don't just wander blindly into the night. We hope we understand where we're going after. What was the emerging market opportunity that led to this collaboration? And then how did the processes and the outcomes work out? So in the energy sector, uh, you know, we, we talk about changing the world, but the fact of the matter is the world is changing. And, you know, we have to be able to step up and be agile and uh, provide uh, very specific solutions to meet very specific requirements. And in the oil and gas space, there's a few things that are emerging. Uh, one is artificial intelligence and machine learning which requires a lot of uh, GPU uh, compute power and a lot of data streaming capabilities. And then the other is to uh, manage scientific data related to geophysical um, exploration uh, activities, all of which are around reducing time to market, right? So in that space, trying to create solutions that are relevant to the client requirements the storage platforms have to be more than just a place to store data. It actually has to be an extension of the compute layer and it has to operate within uh, a fabric uh, to where the, the workload is kind of a living, breathing thing from end to end. And so, you know, what uh, Hitachi Content for File Management has brought to the, to the table is the ability 
to have a multi-tiered platform that includes NVMe and Object Store that is orchestrated with a parallel file manager that is uh, extremely robust uh, in the sense that Compute Layer is never waiting on storage, right? So when we when we set this thing up and we tested it, we built it out, uh, the throughput and the IOPS were uh, uh, unequaled. It really helped us deliver on the promise of supporting workloads that are designed to reduce time to market. And the economics of reducing time to market is far beyond the cost of technology. It, it's a great partnership from the standpoint that it allows us to achieve our goal to be a top tier cloud service provider with high availability and high reliability. So Jason, what is so unique then? Obviously that's what we need is to differentiate. How, does, how is the Hitachi solution unique? What has it brought to the market? And why is it most importantly relevant to customers today? So obviously like, like the T-Systems team so eloquently stated is we're in this to change the world. <laughs> For us, Hitachi has been able to start to attack a market that we've really had no business playing in before. We've, we've not been able to address these, these AI workloads or these machine learning platforms or these new kind of create new solutions or create new outcomes based off of this, this tremendous amount of data that's flowing into, into our customer base. So with this platform, we've been able to, to really go after this, this high performance data analytics or HPDA space that, uh, that, is, that is very new. Um, uh, Bill had mentioned artificial intelligence, he mentioned machine learning. All of these things create a tremendous amount of data and really require uh, a new way of, of answering the question that's being asked. Um, and, and we're just really proud of this platform and what it's been able to do to actually uh, target these new workloads and really open up the market for us to be able to, uh, to go after these new business opportunities. And then obviously that bolstered with our object storage technology, the HCP platform or Hitachi content platform. We've really been able to create a best of breed solution that creates a holistic approach to how to solve these problems while reducing the cost, while reducing the impact on the data center, and really providing a, um, a new time to market um, uh, goal for us to achieve um, with, uh, with our customers and, and being able to, to create new things for their customers that, that obviously uh, um, are driving the way that market is moving uh, in, in today's world. Bill, I want to go back to you on that. We talked about how storage needs to be more than just storage, how this platform solution offers a lot of those opportunities and the market opportunity you described. So with all that put together, there was actually a proof of concept, proof of value uh, project that you did with Hitachi to test the value of that new Hitachi content software for file solution. It's great to do the proof of concept. What was proved? What was the interpretation of the results? Uh, how do you see that as relevant? What we proved is that is that we could uh, uh, build a storage platform that uh, increased the power of the compute function. Right, made the made the compute function more more robust. Uh, and uh, ultimately, you know, it's it's about supporting applications. So the applications are becoming. Uh, much larger, much more elaborate, and then consequently the the need to deliver files to the applications. Uh, we're talking about huge files. We're talking about files that may be 600 uh, terabytes just for just for one file, right? And so, um, so again, you know the the fabric that the parallel file manager and the relationship between the object store and the NVMe layer uh, just really facilitates uh, extremely fast Ferrari-like uh, performance that um, you know, really helps us to deliver an end-to-end -end solution that supports the, uh, the data requirements of the application and then the the uh, the models can be trained. The analytics are 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 delivered in a way that the client can then take that information and uh, really reduce their time to market, as as we discussed. And you know, ultimately, everything has to get back to that. So, you know, when we when we design a platform around uh, you know scientific and geophysical data, it has to deliver on the promise of. Uh, you know, not having the compute layer wait on 
the data and therefore uh, really delivers on the uh, the promise of the application and the promise of, of helping uh, the clients react and be more agile in their markets. Uh, Bill, thanks for putting that part together. Luigi, I want to turn to you now. T-Systems, Hitachi, Ventara have been partners actually for quite some time. So could, what are the solutions that have uh, already been collaborated on and, and what could you tell us about that partnership? Well, uh, at over 10 years, it's been a pretty long-term strategic collaboration uh, mm. with T-Systems and there uh, are good reasons for that. Uh, our vision are closely aligned. We are both single-minded when it comes to engaging with a with and connecting with customers. Both organizations are also incredibly passionate about co-creating solutions for the digital journey. And we have seen some uh, truly impressive results, including re reducing cost and complexity, both for and your customers by working in a partnership over the years. Then there is the next generation services platform from one of our top priorities when it comes to supporting the systems, the state-of-the-art digital infrastructure, digital services, and digital solutions. The cornerstone of our next generation infrastructure, it sets a new standard in data agility, simplified container management, and ease of use. That plus its capacity for unlocking huge but previously unused data volumes makes it a rock-solid foundation for the modern enterprise. Luigi, thanks for laying all that out. Right data, right place, right time. Essential. Uh, Bill, I want to sort of rock back to you for a second here. and Talk about the existing solutions. We talked about this partnership's been around, right? So obviously some things have been produced previously. So uh, Hitachi Ventara and T-Systems have collaborated on creating other things. How much value is that brought to the T-Systems customer base? Because ultimately that is the goal. The relationship that we have with Hitachi uh, and uh, the investment that they've made in some very specific technologies uh, helps us to align with our clients uh, in terms of creating what we call um, industry-specific clouds, right? So um, there are clouds and uh, there are public clouds and there are workloads and, you know, back office type applications that, that run on virtual machines that run very well in, in public clouds. But when you get into very specific goals and objectives that our clients have, then you, you have to create for them a cloud that is specific to their industry or specific to um, the, the workload that they're trying to support or the app application that they're trying to leverage that aligns with their business goals and objectives, right? So ultimately, at the end of the day, the, 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 the goal of an industry-specific cloud is to facilitate very specific business goals and objectives, right? So Hitachi understands that. They're, they're really in, in lockstep with us and with regard to uh, you know, facilitating uh, technology and platforms that have very uh, focused uh, performance objectives in pursuit of, of supporting a specific application that has specific uh, data management requirements. And it's, it's about, you know, taking the next step. We, we have to have partners that are beyond managing data. What, what we are now in the business of is managing applications, right? And, and so, uh, and Hitachi, you know, Jason in particular really understands that. By the way, Jason is a bona fide rock star. And uh, he really understands the difference between managing data and managing applications and managing workloads on a kind of an end-to-end -end -end basis. And it's a different type of organism and, and but that's really is the business now and you know T systems you know understands that our niche really uh, you know our specific capability is to build industry specific clouds and Hitachi is a great partner for that because they are really uh, perfectly aligned uh, in terms of how to approach the the problem and how to solve the problems. Bill, thanks so much for helping us understand the framework in which this all starts to specifically operate. So, Jason, with that in mind, what are the next steps for the Hitachi Ventara and, and this solution? Where do you see this going with the customer base across as many verticals as, as are possible? The big thing for us is obviously taking this into as many verticals as possible. 
Like I said earlier, we've realized that we there's a whole market that we've never been able to really capture um, just because we weren't there yet. And so now with this technology and, and this and this this best of breed offering that we've created with the content software for file platform backed by HCP, we're now able to target things like the in, uh, industrial sector, whether it be autonomous vehicles and improving on um, the, the, the whole AI platform that is wrapped around that to create that whole new market. Um, or if it's in healthcare and really going after um, drug research or cancer therapy and discovering new ways to improve on society through those means. Or even if we look at uh, the oil and gas market and how we can, like Bill had, uh, said earlier, how we can improve yield while minimizing the environmental impact of, of the traditional oil and gas process. All of that really implies this, a platform that, that is able to drive and provide a faster way of doing things and being able to manage data better, but also lower the impact of the data center and reduce the footprint required to do something like this. Another big thing is us being able to back things like GPU-based workloads. Obviously, it's a very heavy expense for organizations to get into that, and you want the most return out of that possible. So really us partnering um, with those technologies and being able to drive uh, the output from that faster to really like what uh, the T-Systems team had said earlier is be first to market with something. Being able to be the tip of the spear from how organizations are reinventing themselves and what they're offering to their customer base and how we can empower that, support that, and then being able to drive that forward in all verticals, not just one or the other. So this is, this is a very powerful um, offering that we've been able to create here, and we're really excited about really driving this forward and, and being able to, to be as best as we can and then empower the greater Hitachi Limited social innovation strategy and really start to embed into how we can make society a better place and then ultimately answer a lot of very complex questions much faster. That sounds like a pretty uh, positive strategy that many organizations would be happy to get on board with. Uh, Bill, I want to go back to you as we start to wrap things up here. Uh, with everything we've discussed today, we sort of know where the milestones are now. What do you see next for your customers and this Hitachi content software for file solution? As I mentioned previously, our focus is around uh, leveraging our partnerships to facilitate uh, industry-specific solutions and industry-specific uh, cloud-delivered solutions. Uh, and uh, so uh, it's, it's all going to be around uh, speed, agility, performance. Uh, the, the data is, is getting bigger. The file sizes are getting bigger. The applications are, you know, have higher demands on, on data. We have to have partners and partnerships that can keep pace. And, uh, in order for us to deliver the high availability, high reliability, uh, solutions that, that we're known for at T-Systems, we have to have uh, partners that are aligned with us. And, you know, we we have uh, a significant commitment to Hitachi Vantera because we, we do see that they are aligned with us, that they are uh, uh, the, the right partner to help us accomplish the goals and objectives that, that our clients bring to us. The future is actually pretty exciting. I'm uh, you know, I think we're right on the edge of being able to do a lot of very transformational things. Uh, and ultimately, you know, it all has to be tied to, to the business, right? It has to be, um, it has to help the, our clients achieve their specific business uh, objectives. And, um, and uh, you know, I, IT, uh, you know, the way that it's applied, the way that it's delivered, is, uh, you know, the, the opportunity is to kind of transform uh, how we think about uh, our role and to be able to kind of become uh, the next version of technology, right? That we're just doing much more relevant and sophisticated things. Well, that, that's great. But before I let you go uh, quickly, I sort of to summarize it based on the proof of concept and the proof of value, the process, the relationship and everything you've described would it be safe to say that you might recommend this solution to one or two other uh, organizations? I, I absolutely would recommend it. I, I mean, you know, if, if a client is looking for um, 
you know, a beast of a platform that uh, can really uh, outperform anything else in the industry. Uh, I mean, that's that's what Hitachi uh, Content for File Solution is. I mean, it's it is uh, the elite. Uh, high-powered, high-velocity uh, sports car. Um, but that being said, you know, as Jason has, has mentioned before, there are some economics involved too. I mean, from the simple fact that the, the form factor is getting so much smaller, you can put so many more petabytes of data into such a smaller space. There is a connection um, between the form factor and a lot of objectives around, uh, you know, green technology and, and low emissions or no emissions. And, uh, and then ultimately, the form factor also delivers on the promise of getting more performance and more uh, capabilities for actually less dollars. Uh, conceptualization, visualization, and execution that Hitachi Ventura uh, has uh, delivered with uh, Hitachi uh, Content for File um, is uh, a perfect situation for a company like T-Systems that has to have uh, access to, to that kind of technology to deliver the very customized and optimized cloud delivery platforms that, that we're known for. Well, that's a uh, high praise, Bill. Thanks for laying it out like that. Torsten, you started us off. Uh, I want to bring it back to you. Changing the world is a pretty good goal, and it sounds like the foundation of this relationship has uh, got things on that track. What do you see as next for your customers and for this solution? Definitely, and when I say uh, partnerships can change the world, I really mean it seriously. You know, change is not just happening. Change is something which we can drive, and looking into your capability when it comes to vertical expertise when it comes to data management, looking into our capabilities when it comes to infrastructure, uh, when it comes to building up workloads in a hybrid scenario. I think there are so many things which we could put together um, to strengthen our market position and also then create value for our clients. So we really can change the world. Of course, we will not change the entire world, but a little piece which will help the market to evolve and get better in the changing environment. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, being more precise, where can we invest? What shall we do? I mean, co-development. For me, co-development is really an important uh, topic. You have uh, industry expertise when we talk about healthcare, when we talk about um, um, automotive manufacturing. So that is something we can build on because we have also capabilities and expertise in these areas. And I mean, based on the experience of the last 10 years working with you, there's a lot of trust there is a lot of transparency, there is a lot of collaboration and there is no competition and there is also no a co-opetition, but there is only collaboration and partnership and that's what we should build on and really change the world. Uh, from both the philosophic point of view and the execution point of view, it sounds like a tremendous collaboration is underway to help change the world uh, now and in the future. Gentlemen, I want to thank you for breaking all this down. It's a massive topic as we talk about massive amounts of data. Torsten, Bill, Jason, Luigi, thanks so much for being with us. Thank thanks you. so much, JB.